last round. Left hook, lands solidly, the uppercut, mm. and bing, that right hand just missed, and that Raising. was the punch that really could have capped off that nice double hook. But surprisingly, Hearns has taken some great shots and coming back. And Michael Katz of the New York Daily News. Michael, what do you have halfway now? Well, I think Barkley is now in control. They're fighting his fight right now. I only gave him one point for the knockdown round because I thought Tommy came back real big at the end. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's it's not his fight to be on the ropes the way he is. And, and should it go the distance, I think we'll all look at that critical fifth round. I thought that was a very difficult one to score. You well, gave it to Barkley. I gave it to Barkley, again, just for sheer aggression. Uh-huh. Here we go for round seven. Well, get the mouthpiece in first for Barkley. Now we can go. That's where all that bleeding came from four years ago from Iran Barkley's mouth. He came out for one of those rounds. The second round without his mouthpiece and almost made the same mistake in this fight. They quickly sat him down and put it back in. Had a tremendous six rounds of action so far. Thomas Hearns knocked down from the left hook in the fourth round. Barkley landing 30 punches compared to 18 for Hearns in round six. And still landing more as they head over towards the ropes again. Another crisp left to the body, then the left uppercut from Barkley. Well, compared to the earlier rounds, you're seeing by these stats, Barkley landing a lot more shots than Hearns. The tide has really changed. Hearns for the first time here doesn't look quite as relaxed oh. to me. And he takes another shot from Barkley. Those shots off the body and arms, they wear you down, and all of a sudden, before you know it, they're taking effect. Barkley landing another marginally low shot. There's that, there's that old line about body shots are like an investment because they always pay off later, and they seem to be having that effect on Hearns right now. Another one off the arms, and then Hearns fires back to the body, and then a left to the jaw. Head to head in Barkley's corner once again here midway through the seventh round. Barkley's living off that left to the uh, to the belt, to the hip. I'm really trying to remember the last time I ever saw Tommy Hearns initiate and stay in a fight every round, round after round on the inside, especially with a mauler like Iran Barkley. He said he was in a box, 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 and he's been true to his word here. And now Mills Lane, well, he could have done that a lot earlier as well. Warning Barkley to keep him up. Left from Barkley, right hand from Barkley, the hook. Continues to back up Hearns in this fight. And the judges in scoring have to look at that. Barkley in ring command. As you mentioned, Hearns fighting his fight with 30 seconds to go in the seventh round. Both scored with good left hooks there. Hearns initiated and Barkley countered. Barkley's eye looking a, a bit more swollen. Even though the blood is under control, there's no bleeding. That left eye is starting to close a little bit. Oh, another left hook lands from Barkley. Luckily, Hearns was riding that one out, moving to his left, and took a lot of the effect away from that left hook. As the seventh round winds down, it appears to be another round that you would score for Iran Barkley. Dab, 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 and let the right hand go. You got the second win now. You stay off the rope. There is no need for that. Okay. Yeah, There's no need right, for huh? that. Yeah, fine. Okay. Yeah. You can breathe out of it, okay? <laughs> Let us work in the corner. Okay. Right. Look here, man. You got to get on your jab. And when you're on the rope, come around. Well, you ain't nothing to film, man. We ain't practice for this. Okay. Get your left. Okay. On the rope. And I need more rope. Everything else is perfect. He's dead. He's fucking dead. Uh, his fucking legs is gone. You got to keep him going back. You keep him going back. I want you to keep him going back, man. All right? Just keep him going back. All right, I ran it over there. Just keep him going back. And we got it. Hands up. Here's tighter defense. Tighter defense. All right? Come on, Well, you heard Eddie Mustafa Muhammad's colorful description of how Hearns is doing to his charge. And uh, what did you think of those copy box? Interesting numbers. Well, yeah, they both landed the same amount of punches. But, of course, the volume of punches was thrown by... Uh, by Barkley, which uh, interprets into him missing more punches than Hearns. Hearns being a little bit more uh, thrifty with his punches. 
We're now into the eighth round. Many thought it would not last this long. And one interesting bit of trivia, Hearns has never lost a decision in his career, Joe. That's an interesting point. Both corners saying that the other, uh, the other person in the opposite corner are both tired, so... Uh, and another thing that was uh, that Hearns was being chastised for was fighting his inside fight and staying on his uh, staying on the ropes. His corner wants him to use the middle of the ring, use his jab and right hand, and he's not doing it. Another good luck to the belly from Iran Barkley. Barkley continues to be the more active puncher. CompuBox continues to tell us that the same number of punches are landing, though. Hearns. Connected with the right, missed with the left. Barkley trying to come out of that crouch with a uh, with a winging left hook, trying to catch Hearns in the middle of a punch or just finishing with one. Hearns again seems to look better when, for those rare times, he can back off. And exactly. Some breathing room. He exactly. looks a lot better. Why doesn't he do it more often? Well, I'll tell you what, he's, it's hard to get Barkley off yet, number one. Number two, give Barkley a lot of credit for making Hearns miss those punches. He's got a lot better head movement than he did a few years ago. Barkley connected with the looping, glancing right, and the uppercut from Barkley. Both fighters breathing a bit yeah. heavier here with a minute to go in the eighth round. Both of them wishing Mills Lane would have taken a little bit longer to break that clinch. I'm surprised Tommy Hearns isn't shooting that short right hand over the top when he steps around Iran Barkley there. He set him up with a couple jabs and didn't pull the trigger on the right hand. Both of them a bit tired here in the latter stages of round there it eight. Was. That was the right hand I was talking about. Barkley tries to work Hearns to the body. Inside of 30 seconds to go in the round. A bit more wide open here. Well, Mills Lane was screened out as he was behind Tommy Hearns, and I ran Barkley through another low blow. Barkley continues to bear in there with the head first. And Hearns trying to fire, missing some of them. And this will go to a ninth round. Tommy Hearns wanted to shake hands. I ran Barkley have none of it. Stay with the left hand. Stay with the left hand and looking to drill the right. And every now and then he's giving grip with that left hook underneath. He's giving. You try to let it go, right? And then break it on top. The man is dead. You gotta keep this title, man. Everything you know is on the line. Push and punch, champion. Push and punch. He's a dead man. The doctor's looking at him. He's a dead man. Hands up. Push and punch, champion. He goes some more water, baby. Push and punch. Tight D. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can't take it all in now. Here we go. Let's look back at this replay. This may be the right hand. Little jab. Bing. And that's a short right hand, and that's more open and available for Hearns than he's been taking advantage of in the past couple rounds. Joe, both corners painting the picture that the other man is tired. I sense Hearns' corner a little bit more desperate there, saying you have to keep your title. But look at Tommy Hearns' nose. I mean, it really wasn't great looking before the fight, but right now it really looks very swollen. And uh, it, that can't be too comfortable for him, and it may affect his breathing. We're in the ninth round now. WBA light heavyweight championship fight scheduled for 12. The crowd chanting for Tommy Hearns. Trying to urge on their man. Perhaps they suspect what we do, that uh, Barkley is ahead. He scored the only knockdown in the fight. That in the fourth round off a of left hook. trying to open things up in the middle. His corner told him that Barkley is tired. And both men were certainly more tired in that eighth round. Hearns dances away with a minute gone in the ninth. Barkley with another swing and a miss and another one.
round after round. Barkley working, Hearns over on the rope. Hearns looking to come out with a flash of combinations, and uh, this is really been a replay of every round. Hearns with some strong body blows. And if I'm not mistaken, Barkley landed a nice left hook that Hearns absorbed very well there. Hearns okay, throws three straight strong body shots. Hearns did. And now Barkley landed. Another left from Iran. And there's some blood on Barkley's arm. Well, that's coming out of Tommy Hearns' nose, and it, it almost looks like it's either spread up to the eye or he's bleeding out of the eye. One of the two. Now, I wouldn't be surprised because they've been button heads, shoulders and elbows in here, and a lot of fists. Absolutely. From the beginning, it looked like the, the heads coming together might be a problem. And now the mouth, as well as Iran Barkley's, is the mouth of Tommy Hearns is really open, and I see blood coming out of it. Oh, and Hearns came back with a right. Bounced off the ropes with a beautiful short right hand. Inside of 10 seconds remaining in this ninth round. Right above us here, ringside. Those right hands are just too far and few between for Tommy Hearns here. And Iran Barkley's really taking the play away in this round. And the uh, Mills Lane shirt is splattered with blood. It's coming from Tommy Hearns, even though Barkley was cut earlier above the eye. Take a look. No, no, get him out of here. 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 Get him out Three, two great left hooks. And there's the left hook I was talking about right. from Barkley. Took it right on the tip and, and did real well with it. Here's the other angle. Bingo, right on the tip of the chin. And that did hurt Tommy Hearns there. Tommy Hearns does not look real well in that corner. That nose looks like it's bothering him. He's, his eyes are rolling a little bit. It looks like he's losing con concentration. And sat down very hard on a stool, which is an indication his legs are weak. And with the nose perhaps in trouble, you'll see the mouth opening more. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go for the 10th round. And Hearns with the blood all over his trunks from his nose. Eddie Mustafa Muhammad was pointing to Iran Barkley over to Tommy Hearns saying, look at him, he looks like a beaten man. Go get him, you've got the fight. And indeed it looks that way right now at this point. Tommy Hearns has a look of uh, despair on his face at this point. And the blood continuing to flow out of the nose of Thomas Hearns. Hearns said this would be payback, but thus far, Barkley may be doing, uh, doing it to Tommy Hearns once again. Barkley said he wanted to be the man to beat Hearns twice, the only one to do it. Well, so far it's looking pretty good for him. That's right. Of course, you got to ask yourself why Hearns is... And Hearns is staggered again by the ropes. Still fighting back. Hearns is trying to fight back, but Bar Barkley got him again. Oh, here's Hearns with a good left hand. And another one. And Hearns with the right. And Barkley stays right there in front of him. Good action from Tommy Hearns. Oh, and Barkley with the left hook. And another oh, 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 left from Barkley. Barkley refusing to be intimidated or hurt by those left hooks. Came back with three counter left hooks of his own and really putting some hard punches together. Both men are. Tremendous back and forth action here late in the fight, midway through the 10th round. Another good left hand from Barkley. Threw a nice little short uppercut and then tried to hook off of it and really just missed the boat narrowly.
been another good one. There's been some fight, Joe. Well, really, kind of an unpredictable fight. I don't think anybody really thought Hearns was going to fight on the inside. Norman would go 10 rounds. so much as he's drowning in it. Uh, yeah, I just think uh, Iran is as tired as Tommy right now. Tommy's nose looks like it's uh, really in bad shape. Take a look at that uh, disdain that Barkley showed earlier. Right, that's what you pointed out earlier. I think we're going to get to it in a second here. Where, no, I guess, I guess we won't. We're going to go right back here. 11th round. Here we go, Len. Maximum of 12 here tonight. CompuBox verifying Michael Katz's uh, scorecard there. Hearns landing 38% compared to 25% of the punches for Barkley. I think I'm right in line with uh, with Michael's scorecard as well. I agree with his analysis thus far. Uh-oh. Uh, well, that's just a little blood on Barkley's head. It looked like he was cut there for a minute. But Barkley, knowing maybe he lost that last round, is coming out and turning it on this round. Yeah, there is blood on his head, but it's hard to tell where it's come from. He uh, put his hand up there as well. Barkley has thrown 833 punches compared to 529 through round 10. I think Barkley has a cut there from the head yeah. coming together so much as they have repeatedly throughout the fight. He's right. got a, a cut right on the top of his head. Well, that's why he grimaced and reached up for his head. I didn't know if it was blood from the nose of Hearns or a cut, but well, it you is. You can see it there. Yeah. The danger there is if it drips down into the eye. He has enough eye problems as it is. That's right. And Hearns connecting with first the right to the body, then the right hook to the head, midway through the 11th round. a bit stronger in the 10th and maybe marginally so here in the 11th. Barkley started out nice and Hearns is really coming up yep. wrong here. And he's doing better in the middle of the ring where he should have been earlier. And Barkley connects. And Hearns just drops his hands and reverse the stain. Blood off of Barkley's head has now been transferred over to Hearns' forehead. As if Barkley was a scary looking enough, now with blood on his head. I mean, that's a vicious sight coming at you. And uh, really came back strong in the middle of the round there when Hearns was flurrying. Both men are a little weary from those two exchanges they had because they threw a lot of punches, and this is round 11. And I wouldn't be surprised if Hearns' nose problems weren't caused by a headbutt either, Joe. Inside of 30 seconds remaining in the 11th. up against the ropes here in the latter stages of the 11th round. Burns true to his word, boxing all night, but it's just not getting it done for him. And this fight will go to a final round. Wow. Look at the blood, and Burns gave him quite a look. Let's listen to the corners. You have to let this shit go. Be a real man, sir. Keep your ass off them ropes. You got to let this shit go if you want to keep your eye on them. You got to rip them. You got to rip them. You got to let that guy here. Let you mean. Hey, damn. You the new tab I ran. Let's go. Let's go, baby. You the new fucking tab. 
great pep talk. I mean, Newton Rockney couldn't have put it any better. That was wonderful. Three minutes left for the WBA Light Heavyweight Championship. They did not touch gloves. Barkley said he would not touch in the dressing room. True to his word, there was no touch there to start the 12th round. And Barkley's crown, well, he, Hearns' crown seriously in jeopardy here in the 12th round. There's a whole lot of glove touching going on right here, and I think before this round is over, you're going to see a lot of glove touching chin. Because both of these men could conceivably need this round to win this fight. Well, both corners have tried to paint that picture. That's right. The crowd for the third time was chanting Tommy during that break, so you know who they're rooting for. It's a nice counter right hand by Tommy Hearns as he stepped back. And Barkley snapped Hearns' his head back three times with lefts. trying to urge on Tommy Hearns for one last moment here. Barkley could be about to take his belt away. Well, you take a look at these two guys' faces and you ask yourself, who the hell would ever want to be a fighter? <laughs> this is a brutal, brutal fight. Two big, strong guys. And really, it's going to be hard to say who the deci decision goes to, but you got to feel Barkley took the play away most of the fight. And Barkley's right eye closing. Though. It's a good thing for him. It's not a 15-round fight. coming on in the latter stages. And Hearns landed. And Barkley missing. Ten seconds to go. You can be saved by the bell in this round. Oh! The big left hand from Barkley. And that's it. It will go to the scorecards. are lifted up now. Well, the Sugar Ray Leonard fight, Tommy Hearn should have won perhaps, got a surprising draw. Who knows what will happen with Las Vegas judging, and will this be the first decision that Tommy Hearns has ever lost? Now they're hugging. I think both guys were saying they won to the other guys. Well, with some 12 round light heavyweight fight. I want to go back to the coffee box stat here 184 power shots compared to 127 landed by her. I'm going to get up into the ring and be there for the, uh, the man who gets his hand raised. Well, both camps are saying that their fighters have won. Well, we'll see what the official judges have. Well, what is our unofficial judge, Michael Katz of the Daily News? Well, here I am in Las Vegas, and I have uh, I ran Barkley six points ahead at the end. I think it's clear that he won this fight. I think you take any three-year-old or ten-year-old kid and ask him to judge who won this fight. There's no question 
I think he made Tommy Hearns fight his own fight, even in the middle of the ring. If Tommy would land three, four punches, Barkley would counter with a harder one, and that's why Tommy had to fight the fight on the, on the ropes. This is the fourth round, Michael. Tommy makes a nice move here, stepping to the right, and runs into one of those wild punches. Here's, here's the scoring. We have a split decision. Oh, here we go. Luke Rabbit scores about 114 to 113 for Thomas Hearn. Chuck Jampa scores about 115 to 113 for Iran Barkley. Call up to Jerry Roth. And Jerry Roth scores about 114 to 113 for the winner by split decision. And new champion I'm a great champion hey we the best we the best all right Tommy what did you feel about the decision um I felt it could have went either way it was, it was fight they called it the way they seen it and um I just have to be take the fight and be grateful you know because Iran Barkley is not a, a bad fight he's a great fight I think he's a great fight before I get back to Iran Barkley Tommy I gotta ask you how much longer are you gonna stay in this game um, I haven't decided yet. Um, I'm still happy. I still can do it for a few little while longer. I think that I, I should just continue to be ready to walk away. You know, I don't know. I could be ready to walk away tomorrow. I don't know. Next week. You know, a month from now. Iran, I know you want to put on that championship belt, but hang with me here for a second because I got a couple more questions to ask you. Okay, Iran. Uh, it's very nice of Tommy here to come over and congratulate you. Uh, Iran, was there any point in that fight where you felt that you were in trouble, or was it a fact that you felt you were in control the whole time? I felt that I was in control. Um, I just want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for giving me the victory. Oh, yes, Lord. Um, I felt I was in control all the time. Um, like I said, once I had him backing up and I seen that he was going and going, I said I got to keep the pressure on. But uh, I wasn't going to give up one minute because I knew this belt was coming home with me. I just want to say I thank God, boy, that I did it. Hey, EJ, I told you I was going to get this belt. Yo, G, we the man. We got three. We got three. One more. One more. One more. One more. What's the next one that you're going after? Because I got to talk to Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, your trainer, who really has revitalized your career and made you the champion that you are. Two title belts within three months, which ain't too bad, Eddie. Uh, what, what's your next step? Well, when I first started training Iran, I told him I was going to make him a four-time world champion. Let me tell you something. We want Roberto Duran. That's we, who we want. This is our big payback oh, now. Legend. 